Hi. So today now we are going to be looking at how to identify whether something is an acid or a base and really more specifically we're, we're going to be looking at how to identify different types of acids based on their chemical formulas. So if we take a look over here uh, and again this worksheet is on the website right on this page so if you want to look at it feel free if you want to use it practice with it feel free. Now the first three, well, the three types of acids that we're going to look at, okay? Uh, there are examples of them right here, a whole bunch of them. Now, the one thing that I hope you can see from looking at this, again, these are all acids, okay? The one thing I hope you can see is that each one of them has an H out front in the chemical formula. Every single acid has a hydrogen that is present in the front of it. In this class, whenever we see that hydrogen out front, a chemical compound, we are going to assume it's an acid. Okay? That's the simplest way we can do this. So whenever you have an H out front, we're going to assume it's an acid. Now, once we get past that, well, there are three types of acids that we need to be able to recognize. Okay? The first one is an inorganic acid. That is actually, in my opinion, the simplest one to look at or to figure out. So all you need to do for an inorganic acid, you will see hydrogen bonded to one other element and it will almost always be a halogen okay so, so an example might be something like HCl or HF okay hydrochloric acid hydrofluoric acid HBr hydrobromic acid okay those are all examples the other big thing about this is that you will not see and again this is to help you figure out this worksheet and to help you understand the three types of acids you have to know, you will not see oxygen. Okay, So there will be no oxygen present in these chemical formulas. No oxygen present. Now, the next type, oxyacid. Well, this one basically is the opposite of that. They will have oxygen. So the oxyacid will contain oxygen. However, to make this simple for you, let me tell you that if it contains oxygen and carbon, it will not be an oxyacid. So we'll say that this will contain oxygen, but will not have carbon. Okay, keep that. Finally, the carboxylic acid. This one seems to confuse students sometimes, so I'm trying to make this again as simple as possible. If you're at home, you're working on your homework, and you just want a simple way to figure this out. Okay, the carboxylic acid really truly indicates that there is a carboxyl group present, which looks like this. You have a double bond with an oxygen in a structural formula, and you have a hydroxide group coming off of that carbon as well. Okay, now we're not, we're not really getting into this in terms of this type of chemistry. However, that's just why we call it a carboxylic acid. The simple way for us to identify them in here is like this. Okay? They will contain three elements that you need to recognize in that structural formula. The first one is hydrogen. But like we said, all acids have hydrogen, so that shouldn't be a big deal. The next thing they're going to contain is carbon. As you can see right there, they will have carbon in them. And finally, they will have oxygen. So if you see all three of those, in a, in a chemical formula, you know then that it is a carboxylic acid. And that's all you have to do is be able to recognize it. You don't have to write out the formulas yourself. You just have to be able to recognize the formulas. So let's just go through a couple examples. First thing on this one, you notice it has oxygen, I hope. Now, to just remind you guys, this is not carbon. Okay, That is chlorine. That is an, in an element all itself. C and L together. That is an element. Chlorine. Just remember that. It seems to get a lot of people stuck. So if we've got oxygen, we know it's an acid because, like we said, it's got that H out front. Well, it will contain oxygen but not have carbon. There's no carbon in here, and it does have oxygen, so we would say this is an oxy acid. Next, uh, very similar. It has hydrogen out front. It's got an oxygen but no carbon. Oxy acid. This one, HCl, this is an, inor an inorganic acid. Why? Because it has hydrogen out front. It's got one single non-metallic element after it, what we would call a halogen. So 
<coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do is look through this and uh, say inorganic acid. Again, it also does not have oxygen. Uh, we'll keep going. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. I'll let you figure that one out. Uh, let's go all the way down here to acetic acid. Now this one, it is an acid. It has hydrogen out front, like we've always said. You'll also notice it has carbon, and it has oxygen. So if something has carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen, well, there's one certain type that we call it, and that is a carboxylic acid. So go through, fill the rest of them out, and see if you can follow these examples to remember what different types of acids there are. Now, the next thing that we're going to look at, just very quickly, are types of bases. Or not really types of bases, just what is a base? What is an example of a base? So, uh, what I want you to do here is just first realize that anytime you have a base, okay, you will see a hydroxide group. You will see hydroxide in every base that we look at in this class. That is, you will have OH, and you might even want to make a note. This is hydroxide. So you will see that in every base that we look at. Okay, it's really simple. All you have to do is see if you see OH together. It's got to be written together like that in the basic formula to see that. Then we know it's a base. And I've said base a lot. Next, uh, some examples. I mean, just some examples if you want. NaOH, sodium hydroxide, very common. Uh, potassium hydroxide. Okay, lithium hydroxide. Again, look, they all have a base there every single time. They all do. Uh, if we want to keep going, calcium hydroxide, uh, magnesium hydroxide. Uh, again, I'm putting this two out here just so you know because calcium is a plus two ion. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion with a negative one charge. So we need to have a two there to cancel out the charges to make it a neutral compound. So those are how we, those are bases. Those are how we see what a base is. That's how we see it. Hydroxide, it's in all of them. Usually it's going to be written last. So remember, Acid has an H out front. There's a bunch of different types. You figure that out. Bases have hydroxide, usually at the end. So, hope that helps.